Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Earth Connections video where we're exploring a really special essential oil to me, one from my home country of Australia. You don't have to look far in Australia to find a eucalyptus tree. You can see several behind me, or as we affectionately call them, the gum nut trees. Now these eucalyptus trees, when the sun comes out and when it's warm in summer, they'll actually warm the leaves and you can actually smell the eucalyptus essential oil. Now eucalyptus trees aren't just found in Australia, they're found in many countries around the world, many in the southern hemisphere, and creates a beautiful essential oil that has now become one of the most popular in aromatherapy. So in this video, we're going to explore my hometown favourite eucalyptus essential oil and how you can use that for your body, for your mind and for your spirit. Eucalyptus essential oil primarily supports the respiratory system. It's really good for any congestion or any other breathing troubles. If you suffer from asthma, sinusitis, maybe you've got a flu and you're just all blocked up, then you get your eucalyptus essential oil out. Put a couple of drops on your hand, put some in some hot water and do the good old towel over the head and breathe that in. Even dropping a couple of shot, uh, drops on the shower and as that steam comes up, it'll really help to open up the airways and help to break down some of that decongestion. Eucalyptus essential oil really reminds us of how important our breath is. And this is really important to not just our respiratory system, but to all of our body. When you think about it, the way we are breathing communicates with the rest of the body how we're feeling. Think about when you're angry, when you're scared, when you're upset, what happens with your breathing? It becomes short and shallow. And what do we do to relax and to let our body know that everything's okay? We breathe, we deeply breathe. And a personal trainer once told me, because I used to hold on to things and try and lift them and hold my breath, he said, just breathe and all the rest of your body will know that everything's okay. So this is a really important essential oil to support a vital system of our body. But not only is it great for our respiratory system, it can be used for all different things. It's really good because it's cooling nature for temperatures and fevers. It's really great to rub on problem areas where there's cellulite. It's great for ear aches. It's great for breast health. And it's even great, you can put it in a spray bottle with some water, about 10 or 15 drops in a little bit of water, and that will deter dust mites. So you can use eucalyptus to support the respiratory system as well as all other parts of your body. On a basic level, by inhaling eucalyptus essential oil, it helps to increase cerebral blood flow. In other words, it brings more oxygen to the brain, and this can really help with your alertness. But because eucalyptus essential oil really helps with the respiratory system and improves your ability to breathe effectively, it can really help you to bring yourself back to the current moment. It really helps with mindfulness. You know, think about what we do, what do we say to other people, or what do we remind ourselves to do when we're stressed? Just breathe. And when we breathe, we become connected with the, mo the current moment and we can focus on that. We don't worry about the stresses and the anxieties caused by what's happened in the past or what's going to happen in the future. It really helps with mindfulness. It can help us to put things in perspective and it can help us to really enjoy and you know, relish in what's happening right before us, to be present and aware of the people that are there and the opportunities that are there without worrying about what else there is. It's really great with yoga practice because in yoga we're really incorporating the body and we've got to breathe through the body and so eucalyptus can be a great one to either you know put a couple of drops and aromatically dress on it before you start a yoga class or have it diffusing in the classroom or while you're practicing at home it will really enhance its practice. On a deep emotional level, eucalyptus essential oil supports your ability to breathe in the full experience of life. You know, breath is really important to us. The way we breathe brings in life-giving oxygen, and we need that. You know, without it, we're not going to be alive for too long at all. And so someone who is unable to really enjoy, if you find that you hate eucalyptus oil, you hate the scent of it, or that you really love it, that suggests that there's a real issue here that you need a bit of exploration about your ability to breathe in the full experience of life, to take in all life has to offer. You know, when we have short breath, we're scared, we're fearful, there's something wrong. Oh, when life is amazing, we take in that full breath and eucalyptus really supports you to do that and enjoy every moment and really get out there and experience everything that you can experience being a human on this beautiful planet. Eucalyptus essential oil is absolutely amazing to diffuse around your house. Not only on a physical level does it help to get rid of airborne bacteria, 
but it's also been used for a long, long time to purify spaces. Especially us living in Australia or the Southern Hemisphere where eucalyptus is natural, when we're doing house cleansings or anything like that, we normally grab sage, which isn't native to here at all. That's from the Northern Hemisphere. Our native indigenous people have used eucalyptus as a cleansing tool. And so this is a really powerful plant to use as our house cleansing. You know, you can use it to cleanse when you put a few drops in a spray bottle and walk around the house and spritz that way. It's really great to diffuse when there's been an argument or a fight or an attention because it helps to soothe anger and calm hot-headedness. Not only that though, that it also helps to clear out any sickness or any negative energies that can cause sickness. A beautiful exercise to do with your eucalyptus essential oil is to go sit outside, sit near a tree, ideally a eucalyptus tree, and put a couple of drops on your hand and breathe that in. And as you breathe in, breathe in all that beautiful energy from the eucalyptus essential oil and from nature and feel yourself regaining ultimate divine perfect health. And as you breathe out, let go into the earth to be rebalanced, all those things that don't serve you, any pain, any suffering, anything. And you can do this for physical health, mental, emotional, or spiritual health. This can be a really beautiful activity. And as you use the eucalyptus essential oil, it'll really deepen your breath to allow you to get the maximum benefit out of this. Not only can you use it for your own healing, but you can use it for other people's healing as well. You may have heard of distant healing, where we're sending healing energy to someone else. So what you do is again, breathe in that eucalyptus oil and as you breathe it in, breathe in healing energy and as you breathe it out, send it off to that person. Seeing them encircled in white light and recovering and feeling much better than they're currently feeling. You can also anoint a candle in eucalyptus essential oil and place that candle near that person, sending prayers or hopes or positive energy towards them and hoping that they recover soon. On a deeper level, you can really help to connect with Gaia and your connection to Mother Earth. It's amazing in modern life how disconnected many of us have become with just nature and how that freaks us out or we avoid it or we need to be inside all the time. What happens is remember, when we become aware of our breath, we're breathing in oxygen which is gifted to us by the plants and trees around us that we valuable need for our survival. And as we breathe out, we give them back carbon dioxide which they need. So by focusing on our breath and just simply breathing in that eucalyptus essential oil, we're coming, becoming aware of the connection we have with the plants and the trees and these parts of Gaia and Mother Earth and it can really help to reinforce that connection, rediscover that connection and deepen that connection. When it comes to the chakras, I find eucalyptus essential oil works really well with the throat chakra. Although the chakras are determining different aspects of our behavior, they also affect the health of different systems of our body. And our throat chakra is connected to our respiratory system and eucalyptus oil obviously supports that. I find that eucalyptus essential oil is really good when this chakra is underactive. There's not enough energy there. What tends to happen is all different things when a throat chakra is underactive. A person may have problems expressing themselves, their thoughts and their feelings, so they may be quiet. People may misunderstand what you're saying, not just what you're saying verbally, but also in emails and other correspondence as well. Sometimes you'll find that uh, people with an underactive throat chakra will talk a lot. But the problem is they're, they're talking rubbish because they're covering up because they don't feel comfortable or they're trying to avoid having to open up so they're filling that space and they feel awkward in that way. And even sometimes when you've got an underactive throat chakra, what you may find is that you have problems telling the truth. Now it's not necessarily because you want to lie, it's just that basically you don't feel comfortable telling people that their bum does look big in those pants because you can't express how you truly feel. Eucalyptus essential oil allows you to breathe in, to feel calm, balanced and centered and express exactly what you want to say. And this is going to really support you in balancing that throat chakra so that you can express yourself in a clear and effective manner. Eucalyptus essential oil works beautifully with other real healing kind of essential oils. You know, try blending it with lavender, which is calming, lemon, which is uplifting, peppermint, which has really got that great zest to it. You know, cardamom, it's great with rosemary, helichrysum, and melissa are real powerful ones to help the body heal. So anointing them and pu putting them in some fractionated coconut oil or another curry oil and rubbing that over your body can help with healing and help especially when you've got the cold or the flu. Or you can put it in a diffuser and inhale that beautiful healing aroma of those different magical essential oils working together. Eucalyptus essential oil, especially Australian eucalyptus essential oil, blends really well with other Australian essential oils. I find especially Kunzia, Rosalina and Lemon Myrtle are beautiful blends. 
Another way you may want to blend your eucalyptus essential oil is with other throat chakra ones. Think about cypress and chamomile and put them together and you can put it in a little roller and anoint your throat chakra or breathe that in and really help to open up that throat chakra so that you can communicate your thoughts and your feelings effectively. To make the most out of your eucalyptus essential oil, bring in other gifts from nature that are really going to enhance this essential oil. Now I love working with crystals and the crystal that I work with when it comes to eucalyptus is bloodstone. Beautiful crystal here, hopefully you can see the green, there's little red dots on it as well. The myth is there's a green crystal and when Christ was crucified, his blood fell upon it. Now this is a real big crystal for you know bringing compassion and altruism and generosity and charity, but it's also a really powerful healing one. You know, when we're stricken with cold and flu, we go for the eucalyptus, but also go for your bloodstone, and they're gonna work really well together. This helps with the lymphatic system, the endocrine system, it helps with the immune system, the uh, the cardiovascular system and gives it all a big yang boost, a bit of fire and power to help you fight off any diseases or anything that's kind of dragging you down like a cold or a flu. In harmony with these, I really like to work with koala, another Australian beautiful animal, and it teaches us some really valuable things. Now when you think about koala, it just eats the eucalyptus leaves, so it has a real connection to eucalyptus purely on that way. But it also, it eats purely what's good for it and just takes what it needs and sleeps a lot of the time. It focuses purely on its health. So when we're kind of getting distracted by all these different things, Koala reminds us just to come back to what's important and what we truly need. Just like eucalyptus does, when we inhale it, it brings us back to being mindful of what's important to us and focusing on that and not worrying about all these minor stresses that won't be an issue in you know a few days, weeks or years. Now when it comes to astrology, the breath and the leaves and that and the alertness that eucalyptus brings really resonates with the planet Mercury and Mercury rules the day Wednesday. So Wednesday is the ideal day to work with your eucalyptus essential oil. But hey, use it all seven days, I'm not going to stop you, but Wednesday, especially for magical and spiritual things like house cleansing, Wednesday is going to be a really good day to use that essential oil. Mercury rules two star signs. Geminis, like myself, as well as Virgos. Geminis are always very, you know, there's a lot happening in our minds because we are ruled by Mercury, and eucalyptus can really help us to focus and to not get too scattered. Geminis also have a tendency to talk a lot, and so sometimes this can affect our throat chakra and our respiratory system in our throat, and eucalyptus is really good for maintaining health of this area. For Virgos, sometimes they can get caught up in their mind as well. They're such beautiful nurturing star signs, but sometimes their head can cause anxiety and stress, and eucalyptus will help them to breathe and come back to the present and find themselves really calm. So eucalyptus is great for these two star signs, but great for all star signs because hey, if we could all breathe just a little bit better, then that would be great for absolutely everyone, body, mind and spirit, wouldn't it? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. You know I love my essential oils and I'm looking for other essential oil lovers and lovers of gifts of nature to do my online course, to work with me for sharing the love of uh, crystals and essential oils all around the world. And if you're interested in that, then please check out my website and it tells you how you can work with me there. And lots of different opportunities to share these joys, these magical gifts of mother nature around the earth. Also, when it comes to picking new oils, look for a real pure therapeutic grade one. You're going to want a high quality one, like the uh, ones that I work with, and you can find out details all about that as well on my website. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you've got your eucalyptus essential oil with you now, just take a couple of drops, place it in your hand, and breathe. Blessed be, I'm Adam Barillet. Thank you for watching.